Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I am going to focus on how to implement speech plugin concept in Microsoft Semantic Kernel. Let's start. The first step in Visual Studio, I have created a new project called a Speech Demo. It's a console application. In this program, I written one function called Create Kernel Builder. This function written the kernel builder object with using of Azure Text Completion Service API. This service communicate to our Azure OpenAI service to get the result. The next important point is go to Azure portal. You have to create a new resource using this speech service resource. Once the resource has been created, go to Visual Studio and go to NuGet Package Manager and search Microsoft Semantic Kernel. And if you scroll down, you can see one package called Azure AI Community Microsoft Semantic Kernel Speech NuGet Package. Install this package. This package used to communicate our speech service. So we no need to write the code. We can just use this package to achieve this concept. The next, go to program.cs file. First, you have to import the namespace using Azure A Community Microsoft Semantic Kernel Speech Plugin. The next step, we have to create the kernel object. For that, we have already created a, the function called Create Kernel Builder. So I call this function Kernel Create Kernel Builder. So our builder object is ready. The next step, we have to import the package. So import speech speech plugin kernel dot import skill new of speech plugin. This is a plugin. We have to use it. This plugin required I speech to text interface. So we have to create the object for this interface also create speech to text object so i speech to text variable name speech to text equal to new of speech to text this speech to text need key and the region this information you can find in the azure portal so once your service is resource is ready you can go to key and endpoint you can find the key and region information. I have already defined my key and endpoint in my config parameter. So I just pass the information speech text config parameter region. This step is ready. The next step we have to build call the build function. If you call this function then speech service get enabled otherwise it won't enable its own exception. Here we have to pass this interface speech to text. The next we can define the plugin name. So speech plugin. Our plugin is ready. This import skill are written the collection of semantic kernel function available in this plugin. So that I capture into the one variable where speech speech dictionary available function, available semantic kernel function, I assign to this variable speech dictionary. So our skill is ready. We just test the skill. The next we pass our speech into the Azure OpenAI service. To test this one, I need kernel object. So where result equal to kernel dot run async. Here we have to pass the semantic kernel function. As I mentioned the function available semantic kernel function for this plugin available in this speech dictionary. So we have to use this speech dictionary. We have to tell which function should call. The function name is listen speech voice. This is a function name. Okay. Since this is a async function we have to 
implement a sync concept here also so I added wait the next I changed to the program also a sync and task okay we just print the result also and make sure our speech is working properly or not we can test it result fine and one more information here hello yeah it's working fine so I said hello it captured and print the result the next we're going to create one semantic function here create a SK function where SK function equal to kernel dot create semantic function. This semantic function will provide the prompt process the input. So whatever I speak that input has to pass to here. So to capture that one I define the variable dollars input closing braces that's it this pipeline we already talk about uh, our uh, plugin video the chaining function I explained this one this pipeline so first we have to call the speech function capture the our input so once input captured we have to pass to this semantic function so after this one call sk function that's it we quickly run and see the result here what is microsoft here you can see i send my voice note what is microsoft it's connected to azure open a service get the result this is not complete result based on the tokens it will change but we get some results here The next we are going to configure the speech related parameters in case you want to configure like user does not speak uh, more than two or three seconds you want to you know break the silence and you want to process the result can configure that parameter also so speech to text dot speech config dot set property here you can see all the available speak config related parameters so set property here you have to pass the property as I mentioned to implement the silence property property ID property ID dot dot speech dot segmentation silence timeout comma for example two seconds you can pass 2000 year within two two second silence for the user is disconnect and process a request we'll run this what is an visual studio here you can see the two seconds delay it start processing it our request i hope you can understand how to implement a speech plugin in microsoft semantic kernel thank you